there, all members from the final community and of course all other YouTubers who are watching this video. This is Ingrid from the Netherlands again, aka Rocking Lupa. And uh, today I wanted to do a responding to Memphis Final Gym and Mrs. Uh, Perfect Tense thread. So um, yeah, uh, I already have seen a lot of uh, videos from other VC members. And uh, yeah, I really enjoy them uh, so far. So uh, yeah, I was uh, quite of uh, inspired uh, too to do uh, also uh, you know a responding to that uh, thread. So um, yeah, uh, and uh, of course uh, Memphis Final Jim he said that it doesn't matter uh, you know in what uh, format. Uh, you want to show your uh, perfect tense, so it might be a CD as well. So, um, yeah, and uh, uh, I think I have the same uh, problem um, uh, which also other VC members uh, have to deal with. Uh, that we all, all have a really la large uh, collection, you know. So, uh, it's very, uh, yeah, very uh, d difficult to choose just a few albums which might be the best 10 in your in your opinion you know because you always forgot uh, some albums uh, which you haven't shown uh, yet if you know what I mean so um, but uh, yeah I think I grabbed some uh, nice albums uh, as well and uh, I picked some CDs and I also picked some LPs so, um, yeah, before this video uh, really will last too long again, uh, I think it will be better to split uh, the video uh, in a, uh, you know, a CD, uh, perfect tense, and also a best tense video for the LPs. Okay? So, um, yeah. Well, uh, let's start uh, with the CDs then uh, first. And uh, the very first I wanted to show you, it's by a Dutch female singer, her name is Anouk. And I don't think you are f very familiar with her uh, abroad, you know, so outside the Netherlands. Uh, but this is her debut album from 1997, Together Alone. And Anouk is uh, still one of the most popular female singers we have here in the Netherlands. And uh, if you really like uh, very raw uh, rock uh, singing, um, I really recommend uh, Anouk. And uh, yeah, you know, uh, in the last uh, couple of years, uh, she uh, she released many albums. But in my opinion, her debut album, yeah, it's still my favorite, and it really contains uh, great songs, you know. Uh, nobody's wife, together alone, it's so hard, uh, sacrifice and uh, yeah, you know, mood indigo and all those kinds of tracks and it's it's still a great album. So uh, this is the Dutch uh, female singer Anouk, together alone, which is a really a perfect 10 in my opinion. Uh, also a perfect 10. I think it's uh, the final experiment by Arian and of course Arian is a project by the Dutch musician guitarist uh, Arjen Lukassen and I re already uh, talked about him in uh, former videos so you will definitely have to check that out and I really recommend this uh, album this is the very first album uh, he released with uh, his project Arian. So, perfect 10, definitely. Uh, this is also perfect 10 in my opinion. I bought it qu quite recently, but, but I think it's already his very best album so far. It's also a Dutch uh, singer again. It's uh, Bertolf. And so it was released this year and the CD is self-titled and uh, among others, you know, um, Mary and uh, English Roses are, you know, really stunning tracks and uh, you definitely 
have to uh, you give this album a try if you don't know it yet because it's really worth it perfect 10 um, yes uh, this is one uh, CD uh, from a member from Bon Jovi and uh, I talk about Richie Sambora and uh, Richie Sambora he uh, released just uh, two solo albums and I heard he, I heard he is uh, busy with a new one uh, uh, you know so uh, I think he will uh, release that uh, very soon or two but uh, I think about 20 years ago already he released uh, two uh, solo albums and uh, this is the debut album Stranger in this town and uh, you know this album really shows what a really great singer also uh, Richie Sambora is so uh, besides uh, playing uh, yeah, he's a real uh, bluesy influenced uh, hard rock guitarist but uh, he also has such a really excellent voice so and uh, I definitely think you know this is really a recommend album yes it's uh, a great jam and um, yeah also this is a perfect 10 in my opinion it's the debut album from Tracy Chapman and of course this contains among others a talk about the revolution best chorus you know I think it's still her best album so far Tracy Chapman um, I just picked uh, also an album um, uh, a CD from Crowded House and uh, this is called Woodface of course they are really well known from their hit uh, The Dream Is Over uh, but uh, you know this is just another album and uh, so it contains among others a chocolate cake it's only natural uh, fall at your feet and weather with you uh, four seasons in one day and you know I could go on and on and it's really one of, still one of my most favorite Crowded House albums because it contains so many great songs it really uh, yeah I really recommend it Crowded House Woodface um, I picked two albums by one band and I couldn't uh, yeah to choose just one uh, I have more albums by the same group but I picked uh, two albums now uh, they're both by uh, Della Mitri and this is the album Waking Hours and uh, it contains among others uh, Kiss This Thing Goodbye uh, opposite opposite uh, view, move away, Jimmy Blue, Stone Cold Sober, uh, yeah, and of course also uh, nothing ever happens. You know the the last track of this album. It's really such an amazing song. Yeah, it's still one of my favorite uh, Delamitri uh, songs. And uh, also, um, this is definitely one of my most favorite Delamitri albums. Uh, it's called uh, Change Everything. It has so many great songs. And uh, you know, Be My Downfall, Just Like a Man, When You're Young, uh, Surfers of the Moon, I Won't Take the Blame, uh, The First Rule of Love. You know, actually, the whole uh, track list is su uh, such a stunning, uh, yeah, it's su such a stunning list, you know. Um, yeah, sometimes you just have to say goodbye and, you know, I just could on, go on and on. Really uh, recommended album. And, um, yeah, I still think Delamitri is still one of those underrated uh, bands. So, Change Everything by Delamitri. Um, yes, uh, 
Yesterday I uh, really enjoyed uh, the video by uh, Aid, you know, and uh, uh, or he calls himself uh, Putsi in the PC. And um, he has always a really lot of metal to show, which is, uh, <laughs> yeah, you know, kind of my uh, yeah, personal taste too. So uh, it's really, uh, really, really great to see there are more uh, metal fans here in the PC. And uh, so among others also uh, Lazarus, he has a lot of uh, metal to show. And uh, there are also a few other people. So um, yeah, I'm, it's great to, uh, to see more hard rock, uh, you know, uh, that's, it's more in the PC now. Um, yeah, I picked uh, up some um, because I uh, heard uh, Aid was playing uh, Dream Theater, and uh, but uh, I only have these albums on CD, so I ha don't have them on uh, LP. And and to be honest, I don't know if they are released on LP. But uh, I picked uh, two, and uh, this is. Uh, for us, the, the album where it all started with its images and words. It's really a stunning album. Uh, it was released in 1992, so it's already 20 years old now. But uh, you know, uh, when it first came out, we I think we played it, uh, you know, the whole day and the whole week and. We really played it for days, you know, and uh, so among others, uh, the tracks uh, Pull Me Under, uh, Another Day, Take the Time, uh, Surrounded, uh, Metropolis, of course, and you know, many others. And it's still, in my opinion, one of the best Dream Theater albums. So if you don't know this album yet, and you, if you are, uh, yeah, uh, if you like the music of uh, Dream Theater, I really recommend this album because it's definitely one of their best. So this is Images and Words. And I also picked, and I think this was the album after uh, Images and Words, it's uh, Awake. And it's from uh, 1994. It also has really great tracks, you know, for example, uh, Caught in a Web and um, yeah, The Silent Man, I really love that song, it's, you know, excellent song. Uh, Lifting Shadows of a Dream, also um, one of the most favorite tracks on this album, but, you know, it's, it's uh, you know, just like the Images and Words album, this is really recommended. So this is the album Awake by Dream Theater. Um, well, what do I have then? Um, yeah, in fact, I'm a huge uh, Eagles fan. And uh, yeah, uh, of course, I could have picked any album. But I picked, uh, yeah, the album, I think it's really, imp uh, it really uh, impressed me uh, when it came out. Uh, because there was also a DVD from it. And uh, I watched that uh, live show, and I was really, uh, you know, it was really amazing how uh, easily uh, all the the Eagles members do play a different, uh, uh, you know, instrument. So they play the guitar and they play uh, the drums as well and everything. So you know, they are fe re really very, uh, yeah. It's it's really great to see that, and. Um, and I really enjoyed that uh, live uh, performance. And uh, I'm, of course, it, I'm talking about Hell Freezes Over by the Eagles. You know, and uh, the Eagles all are really great m musicians. And, uh, you know, I just can't get enough of it. So uh, I really recommend this uh, live album. Um, then I have, uh, it's still one of my most favorite CDs, and uh, yeah, I, maybe there are some people in the PC who might, uh, might have the opinion that it's quite commercial, 
commercialized music, I don't know. Uh, but this is uh, The Cross of Changes by Enigma. And I really, yeah, I have, I have moments, uh, you know, I really play this uh, album over and over again. And, you know, it contains, among others, uh, you know, of course, the, the big, the huge uh, hit, uh, Return to Innocence. Uh, but, you know, if you, um, yeah, it's a kind of, of yeah, new, wa new wave. I don't know, a new age kind of thing more, you know, it's very sp spiritual uh, music and, and uh, yeah, I don't know, it, it's, uh, I, I just like the album and I just like the music and uh, yeah, it, it's, it's still one of my most favorite uh, Enigma albums, it was uh, released in 1993 already, really recommend it. Um, yeah, uh, this is definitely, I think, one of the best albums in the hard rock uh, scenes. Uh, this is uh, Pornography Graffiti by Extreme. And of course, you know, Nuno Betancourt, what a great guitarist, you know. I think he's one of the most underrated guitarists uh, still. And uh, this was from 1990. And of course, uh, you know, it has tracks like Deca Decadence, Dance, uh, Lil Jack uh, Horny, uh, When I'm President, great track, uh, Get a Funk Out, uh, More Than Words, w which uh, was of course a huge hit, and uh, Money in God We Trust, uh, you know, great uh, track list. So this is... Uh, I think it was the second album by Extreme. Perfect ten to me. Uh, then I picked up uh, because I all have I have all my CDs uh, downstairs in the living room, and uh, so I picked them from uh, downstairs. And uh, I also think this is a perfect ten. It's the album The Real Thing by. Faith No More, uh, you know, great music, and uh, of course, uh, From Out of Nowhere, uh, Epic, Falling to Pieces, uh, Surprise Your Dead, uh, Zombie Eaters, The Real Thing, and War Pigs also, and you know, great uh, track list also, perfect 10, really. Um, what do I have more? Uh, one of, uh, yeah, this is the latest release by the Foo Fighters, Wasting Light. And in fact, I do have the entire CD collection by the Foo Fighters. I know uh, they are released on vinyl too, but yeah, they are quite expensive to be honest. So I guess I have to uh, wait a little more in, until I can afford that. But in the meantime, I do have all their albums on CD, and this is the latest uh, one. Uh, so wasted, uh, wasting light by the Foo Fighters, and uh, you know I just also really love the track uh, "Walk." It's a great track, and uh, yeah, great band and. In fact, I just could could have picked also another Foo Fighters uh, album, but this is also definitely a 10, really. Um, this is uh, also a Dutch band, and I think uh, before Within Temptation uh, ever started as a band, there was just one... Uh, Dutch band before that, uh, who really, th I think, has really opened doors to uh, bands like Within Temptation, Epica, you know, uh, all those kinds of, of women, uh, you know, female fronted, uh, yeah, heavy bands. And of course, uh, this is Mandy Lion by The Gathering. 
And this was their very first album with the vocalist Anneke van Giersbergen. Uh, in the meantime, unfortunately, Anneke van Giersbergen, uh, she uh, have, has left uh, the band. So in the meantime, they have another vocalist. But uh, yeah, I, th I still think uh, Anneke van Giersbergen is one of, definitely one of our best uh, vocalists. And um, this is uh, an album they already uh, released in 1995. And it contains, among others, uh, Strange Machines, uh, Emotion, uh, Leaves, uh, of course, Mandeline, Santa Mercury, you know, just a whole uh, track list, which is, you know, all the songs are really, really excellent. So I really consider this album as one, you know, it's really a perfect 10. So, Mandeline by The Gathering. Uh, then uh, I have also uh, picked one of my uh, most favorite AOR bands and of course I talk about Gotthard and this is in my opinion one of their most uh, perfect 10 albums. Uh, this is Lip Service. And uh, so uh, it contains among others uh, All We Are uh, dream on, lift you up, you know, uh, I wonder, uh, anytime, anywhere, and and then goodbye, and you know, it has uh, 14 tracks, actually, and uh, they're all, you know, piece by, and by piece, they're all just great tracks, and uh, this was released 2005, so, uh, but it's still one of my most favorite Godhart band, uh, albums and of course uh, Gotthard uh, they are from uh, Switzerland and unfortunately two years ago of course their uh, lead vocalist Steve Lee he passed away in a motorcycle accident and um, but I really talked a lot about that uh, in, in my former videos so let's skip that all over now but um, you know definitely one of the most recommended uh, got hard CDs, in my opinion. Perfect 10. Uh, which also is a perfect 10, in my opinion. It's uh, Don't Explain by Joe Bonamassa and Beth Hart. It is released not so very long ago. And actually, yeah, they, they performed all kinds of uh, covers. Uh, among others uh, from Etta James and a lot of other uh, yeah tracks which are you know actually covers but um, yeah they just uh, really made their own uh, version of all the songs and uh, you know if you are a really fan of bluesy music really raw and 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 if you like uh, <laughs> you know really raw voices bluesy voices like uh, Bad Heart buy this album it's a perfect 10 it really is um, also a perfect 10 to me uh, this is the self-titled album by Heartland uh, I don't know if you are familiar with that band but it's uh, I, I think that most of the AOR fans who uh, are watching this video uh, yeah, they really agree with me that this is definitely one of the, the greatest AOR albums ever released. And, uh, you know, uh, Teach You the Dream, Carrie Ann, uh, Don't Cast Your Shadow, Real World, Fight Fire with Fire, you know, um, yeah, it has 10, uh, really, really 10 perfect uh, tracks and uh, it was from 1991 already, so it's all so uh, about 20 years old now but uh, yeah great AOR music perfect 10 um, I picked <laughs> uh, uh, three CDs by one band House of Lords uh, this is actually the first one it's uh, self-titled House of Lords 
it's uh, I think it yeah it was from 1988 um, this is the second album Sahara and this is their third album Demons Down and uh, you know I just couldn't choose between those three CDs but because they're all just perfect tense to me and uh, yeah in the meantime after uh, yeah after many years they released some uh, new albums again but in my opinion they have never reached the quality they had from those three albums so these are the really perfect you know the, the the first three albums by House of Lords they are really recommended they're, they're, because in my opinion they are the, the best albums by that band so House of Lords 10 <laughs> uh, what do I have more uh, let's take a look um, I want to go through that very uh, fast now and uh, because I'm already uh, yeah it's almost half an hour now uh, this is the project by Clan Hughes and Jolyn Turner so uh, HTP <laughs> and uh, so yeah you know what do I have to say more about this two great vocalists you know perfect 10 um, I think definitely one of the best albums by In Excess is Kick perfect 10 to me because it contains really a great uh, yeah songs great hits uh, you know like new sensation devil inside need you tonight mediate uh, never tear us apart uh, mystify uh, lots of uh, more great tracks definitely 10 to me perfect 10 um yes of course i just can't forget etta james and this is her album at last I only have it on CD so I want to try uh, to find it on LP as well but uh, in the meantime I just have the CD and you know perfect 10 and may the God, good God have her a great soul yeah we really lost one of the really greatest singers Etta James um, also, definitely perfect 10 to me, it's Nora Jones, and this is, uh, uh, this was her debut album, I guess, and this is Come Away With Me. And, uh, I think, in my opinion, it's her best album so far, and, uh, but to be honest, I only have her first, uh, two albums, I guess. So and I I heard that in the meantime she uh, yeah she makes a really different uh, music uh, well it sounds very different from this actually but uh, you know uh, don't know why uh, seven years cold cold heart feeling the same way come away with me shoot the moon you know many great tracks come away with me Nora Jones perfect ten. Also, in my opinion, it's a really perfect end to me. It's uh, the debut album by Keen, Hopes and Fears. Yes. <laughs> I just uh, don't hide that I really like Keen. Uh, and uh, I think many people will uh, think it's very commercialized music again. But in my opinion, uh, yeah, they just make great epic uh, emo uh, music, and um, you know, it it sometimes reminds me a little bit to uh, you know uh, bands like The Simple Minds and U2, but then uh, how they sounded in the 80s. So um, yeah, I definitely hear some 80s influences in this in this album and. You know, all the tracks, you know, Somewhere Only We Know, This Is The Last Time, Bend and Break, 
uh, you know everybody's changing and uh, you know all those kinds of tracks you know I just could listen this album for hours really it's it's, it's such a great album perfect 10 um, then I have the solo album by the lead vocalist from the Killers which is of course Brandon Flowers so this is his solo album and it's called Flamingo and uh, you know just listen to this album and you know why I think this is a perfect 10 really um, definitely also a perfect 10 and uh, again I just picked two uh, albums by one artist again and uh, in fact I have his entire collection until now on CD but um, yeah I just picked uh, two albums and they're both by Lenny Kravitz and uh, you know uh, this is of course his album uh, Mama Said you know with uh, Always on the Run and uh, you know Fields of Joy Stand by My Woman uh, and it ain't over till it's over in more than anything in this world uh, the difference is why what goes around comes around flowers for for Zoe and uh, you know all those tracks are just perfect you know but also I think one if of his best releases until now is still his debut album let love rule you know great album and uh, yeah in fact uh, those two Lenny Kravitz albums are still perfect tens to me yeah they really are uh, what do I have more um, this is uh, the very first album by Amanda Marshall it's self-titled and uh, yeah, so it's a de debut album. It was released 1996, and it's still one of the albums I re I still do play a lot. You know, it's uh, and I really have uh, have I have had this in my CD player for days and and you know for months really, and 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 still when I play this, I think, oh man, what is this? A uh, you know perfect album. All those tracks, uh, Let It Rain, Birmingham, Fall From Grace, Dark Horse, Beautiful Goodbye, you know, it was a huge hit, but you know, it, and it, it was, to be honest, uh, Beautiful Goodbye is was the reason why I, I bought this album, but, oh man, what an album, you know, it, it's really still one of my most favorite albums I do have in my collection. So this is definitely a perfect 10. So the debut album from Amanda Marshall. Uh, then a perfect 10 really is Repeat Offender by Richard Marx. What a great voice he has and what a great m musician. I heard that he is uh, releasing a new album very soon and I'm really curious uh, what it sounds like but uh, you know this is such a stunning album uh, it was uh, yeah I think it was late uh, 80s I can't read it now but uh, yeah of course you know the tracks uh, Satisfied uh, Angelia uh, Too Late To Say Goodbye Right Here Waiting of course uh, you know Real World of Wait For The Sunrise Children Of The Night you know, what do I have to say more about this album? You know, perfect 10 to me. Richard Marks. Uh, then, still one of the, I think it's his best album so far. It's Battle Studies. John Mayer. Yeah, uh, many people already talked a lot of about this album, so I'm not going to do that now, but you know all those tracks perfect perfect 10 um, 
then I want to show you uh, what's very nice that uh, uh, yesterday, uh, you know, of course I was uh, uh, on Facebook and uh, also uh, there's a vinyl community page and uh, someone has posted, uh, you know, uh, something, a message about um, Mr. Big. <laughs> And uh, well, you know, uh, Mr. Big, it was a really great uh, hard rock, melodic hard rock, um, yeah, AOR kind of, uh, yeah, band from I think at least 20 years ago. And um, you know, they really had a great, great lineup, you know, Billy Sheehan on the bass, you know, what a monster bass player he is. And of course, uh, Eric Martin on the vocals, and uh, you know, uh, and of course, uh, what's his name? Uh, yeah, I have the band uh, line up here. Uh, Paul Gilbert on the guitar, and uh, yeah, of course, uh, Pat Torpy on the drums. You know, and um, and I remembered. Oh yeah, I just have those uh, albums. And um, yeah, actually, uh, the one uh, on the Facebook he showed uh, this one. So this is the debut album uh, from Mr. Big. It's also self-titled, and uh, and it contains, among others, uh, "Addicted to That Rush," uh, "Wind Me Up," uh, "Merciless," "Head Enough." Blame it on my youth, take a walk, big love, you know, I could go on and on. It's such a stunning album, really, really is. And I really recommend it. So, uh, this is the first album by Mr. Big. Perfect 10 to me. But, you know, I just couldn't uh, let go. Also, the second album they released and of course that is Lean Into It which I also have on CD uh, you know uh, Daddy Brother Lover Little Boy Alive and Kicking uh, Green Teen at 60's Mind uh, you know all those kind of tracks just if you don't know the those albums yet so both both albums basically and if you are into really uh, 80s uh, or, or very early 90s uh, melodic hard rock AOR kind of music I definitely recommend these two albums perfect dance they are really 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 <laughs> and there's no doubt about that so uh, also Perfect 10, in my opinion, still is, I think, the, still their best album so far, Century Child by Nightwish. And I think there are very, very different opinions about this, because there are also people who definitely don't like Nightwish, but, you know, tracks like Bless the Child and in fact, uh, the whole CD, perfect 10, really. Um, also, a perfect 10, in my opinion. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> uh, the album is also called, uh, it's also titled 10, so that's very nice, too. Uh, of course, it's Pearl Jam, perfect 10, you know, I don't need to say more about it. Um, perfect 10 to me, uh, of course, this is The Division Bell by Pink Floyd. You know, I don't need to say more about this, I guess. Um, I have to go fast uh, through the CDs now because, uh, you know, otherwise the, CD, the, the video will very, uh, last very long again. So, uh, But this is also perfect 10 to me. OK Computer by Radiohead. Perfect 10. And then, uh, this is a Dutch band. And uh, the, the, the language they sing in is also Dutch. 
so I guess only Dutch viewers will know that band but I just couldn't let it go because it is definitely a perfect tan to me it's uh, blau the title is blau and it means blue <laughs> uh, and it's uh, by the band The Scene perfect tan you know and um, also perfect tans and I just couldn't choose and they're both by one band again by the Scorpions uh, this is Love at the First Sting and Savage Amusement I will show you fast now but you know tracks like Don't Stop at the Top, Rhythm of Love Passion Rules the Game you know and uh, also the other one uh, Rock You Like a Hurricane you know uh, Big City Nights Still Loving You those are just some tracks of those two albums perfect 10 to me also perfect 10 because I definitely think there you know it's a very underrated vocalist uh, it's uh, this is Ron Shaw and also uh, it gets better both by Ryan Shaw perfect tense uh, this is also a Dutch band and I don't know if they are if you are familiar uh, with the band uh, outside the Netherlands but uh, definitely I think this is their best album so far it's Live Wire by Shaco great album you know uh, tracks like I won't quit now match with you uh, the sludge hurt and uh, you know all those tracks it's such a really recommended album uh, these are two albums again by one band I do have more albums by the band but I think these are the, the their best so far and this is a Paranoid and Sunburned by uh, Skunk and Nancy. And this is also by Skunk and Nancy. And it's uh, the album Stoosh. Both perfect tens. And what do I have more? Of course, I just couldn't forget this one. It's Super Unknown by Soundgarden. You know, tracks like, uh, yeah, uh, su of course, Super Unknown, but uh, Black Hole Sun, Spoon Man, you know, Perfect Ten. And then uh, one of my most favorite artists, Brian Setzer. Uh, of course, he also has the Brian, Ar uh, Brian Setzer Orchestra. And I think this is uh, one of their best albums, Dirty Boogie. I just could listen to this music for hours. It's uh, yeah, it's never boring <laughs> to me, you know. And and Brian Setzer, he's such an excellent guitarist, also. Great album. Uh, what do I have? I have uh, two CDs uh, now to show you, and uh, these are. Uh, a Persona Non Grata by Urban Dance Squad you know amazing album and it's really perfect 10 of course it's a Dutch uh, Dutch band uh, they played uh, you know sort of crossover hip hop rock kind of music perfect 10 and then the, uh, last but not least I want, really wanted to show you uh, this was released uh, very short after uh, he died and this is The Sky is Crying by Stevie Ray Vaughan you know excellent guitarist he was such an amazing musician and um, we you know you really, if you don't know this guitarist yet, shame on you, <laughs> almost, you know, perfect end to me, yeah. 
Well, um, those were my CDs. All my uh, perfect tens. Uh, of course, you know, I have hundreds, hundreds of CDs. So uh, I just picked uh, some to show you. And uh, I hope you liked it. And uh, so these are my perfect tens in uh, CDs. And I have uh, also... Uh, I have also grabbed some LPs for the Perfect Tense uh, thread, but I will do that in a separate video, okay? So I will leave you now, I hope you liked it so far, and um, see you soon, yeah, see you in, that, uh, in the next part, bye bye everyone!